Hello, my name's Mark. This is RC Hacker. Now today I've got a Lawmate 500 milliwatt transmitter and I'm just doing a little uh, modification to it's it's cool. it's a heatsink modification. Experimental Airlines has done this modification as well on the 2.4 gigahertz module. So uh, I'll put a link to that video here if you want to look that look at that. But I'm just going to go over this very quickly because it's very similar this this modification. What I've done, I've got a uh, little piece of copper here that I've soldered onto the um, outer case and normally that case fits on like that yeah it fits on the outside like that and you just prise it off and take it off and then I've soldered that bit of copper on there using a hot air gun not a soldering iron um, and quite high temperature you can pull that off and really get it nice and hot so it sits right and I've measured it so when it's placed it will sit on top of this uh, this is the um, output transistor or amplifier which I presume is the part that outputs mo most of the heat given that it's you know this big copper pad there and then all this solder here to draw the heat away then that sort of draws it away onto this side I'll better set up but um with that copper there, it should draw the heat away onto this side, and then this is the uh, default heat sink that came with it, and it's just got this sticky stuff. I don't even know if it conducts heat properly, if that's a proper heat conductive sticky tape or not. It looks like just like some thin double-sided tape to me. So I, I'm, I've cut this bit of heat sink. Probably a bit of overkill, but the plan is I'm just going to put it all together like this. And I've got here some heatsink compound, and basically, I'm just gonna dab a little bit. Well, that's probably far too much. Dab a little bit on there, and then squeeze that together, and I'll know that's making plenty of contact. I'm just gonna get rid of a bit of the excess. And then after that's done on there, more heatsink compound on the back of this heatsink and stick that on there and then I'm just going to use I've got some high temperature string just to lash the whole lot together and hold it together nice and tight apparently this will output more power well it will certainly keep it cooler and keep it um, lasting longer um, if anyone can explain to me how this can output more power by adding more cooling I'd kind of like to know because I just thought it would output the same amount of power and um, put out less heat but yeah if anyone can explain the electronics or the theory behind that I'd be interested in that okay so here's the finished product basically heatsink of this is just an old sticker on the back to cover up a few of the holes and um, a piece of wire to hold that heatsink on and I think one's enough and I've just twisted that wire up and you know she slides around a little bit but once it's all mounted where I'm gonna mount it should be good and secure so there you go cheers thanks for watching